Hey guys, this is Naresh. So in this video, we will see one of the method through which we can do sorting in Java and that is called bubble sort. So this is one of the question also asked in many of the Java coding interviews uh, that you have to write a sorting of a series, but you specifically have to use a algorithm which is known as bubble sort. So let's understand what exactly is bubble sort means. So let's assume that there is a series like 5, 3, 2, 1. Okay. And if you want to sort it, then the series will become 1, 2, 3, 5. Okay. And uh, there can be other numbers also like 4, 7 like that. So it would be 3, 4, 7. But how exactly this is achieved? See, bubble sort means that your series which you have in every step this number should bubble up and commit at the left hand side for example in every step of the code which you write uh, if you see what is the smallest number in the series so it is one so one will come in the left hand side and then the entire series would be there like this so in every step your one number will be there so in step one this is uh, one will come here and then in step two, so let me write it like this way. Okay, so this is step one. And if we talk about step two, then it would be something like, we know after one, the two will come. So it should be like this, one comma two. Okay. So this is how in every step, my number, which is a sorted number should come anywhere from the series to the left hand side so in the first step it would be one in second step it would be one and two and in third step it would be one two and three so this is what is this is known as the bubble sort so the number it bubble up and it commit at the left hand side and it the, in the end the series is sorted so let's see how we can write that into a java code so what i will do i will do a right click click on new and i will create a java class i will call it as bubble okay all right once this is written i can write my main method which is public static void main and then i will say string args okay and here i can write uh, uh, some code so let's assume that the series which i have already is an unsorted series i already have that so let's store it into some array. So I will say ARR and in that I will store 5,3,2. Very simple. Uh, only, uh, you know, uh, three numbers unsorted array. And now I will create a for loop. So I will say for int i equal to zero. And I want it, you know, so that this for loop can go three times because see, my, my values are array in the three, so I don't want uh, to make it more than three. So I will say array dot length, uh, array dot length. All right, and always remember in an array, the index starts from zero. So it's zero, one, and two. Okay, so I want to write two here. Okay, but instead of writing that, I will say array dot length minus one. So that, you know, even if sometime I have to change this series, this formula does not change so instead of writing 2 here because uh, you know it's the index starts from 0 1 and 2 i will just write error dot length minus 1 so error dot length will give me 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so basically this uh, for loop will go from 0 to 2 so that's mean this for loop will go from uh, 3 times okay and now i will do i plus plus okay so this is the first for loop which i have created now this series the steps will be three steps here step one step two and step three okay but right now i have not put any code through which this number can come to the left hand side okay so let's assume that right now what i have done that this is what we have done with these three loops okay like that step three like this okay so this is what we have done by this but till this time i have not moved this one to here so or i have not moved any number from this to this so let me just write this 532 only so that uh, we are as per the series which we have given 
532532 okay so here in this example you know we have uh, three numbers there will be three steps so this for loop will go three times and the number here is 5325325 every time but what i want this 2 to come at this side so that's mean i have to put some kind of a logic through this this 2 can move so i want this 2 you know to come here so for this i will create another for loop so i will say here for and here what i will do i will give another variable called j so here what i will do i can give int j equal to arr dot length minus one so like the way we have written at the top arr dot length minus one here also i am giving one so that's mean i am moving from this so because i need to move this value so i am getting the same value under the j so it is the second index of the array and i want to go till j is greater than i okay so i will explain this to you later on why i did this j greater than equal to i but for now just understand I'm just taking from this index and every time you know I want to move to next index so that's the reason I am doing j minus minus okay all right now what I have to do I have to put a logic so let's say that I am at this number two and now what I will do I will compare this two with the three okay I will compare it if two is less than three I will swap the two numbers so this is the main logic of a bubble sort so here I will put one condition here. I will put if ARR J is less than ARR J minus one. So I'm comparing the two numbers. If this is true, then I want to do swap. Okay, so for swap, it's very simple logic. I can create one variable like int C equal to and here I will write a value of j that is 2 okay and then I will say because my arrj is saved now so under j I will say arr j equal to arr j minus 1 which will be the value of 3 so this is 2 okay and now this is 3 so see this arr2 arrj has a 2 so C become 2 now. So I will say C equal to 2. And now ARRJ equal to ARRJ minus 1. So ARRJ will become 3 here. Okay. So basically I have swapped the two values. I am comparing it. If 2 is less than 3, I want to swap it. Okay. Once this is done, I will also do ARRJ minus 1 is equal to C so that is a r r j minus 1 now it has 2 because my C has a value 2 and now I have uh, get this 2 value into a r j minus 1 so basically this value of a r j and is a r j minus 1 has been swapped now okay I will put a semicolon here it is giving me the error I have not put a semicolon okay so if my 2 is less than 3 I'm swapping these two numbers and now this if condition is uh, you know it has been done it will again move to the next uh, condition so in this step what is happen uh, 532 what will happen this 5 comma 2 comma 3 so this is what happened right now okay so it has swept but still my 2 is not at the left hand side it is in middle so that is the reason this inner for loop will begin again and it says j equal to a r r dot length minus one so my j would be still you know it will be like three okay and uh, now it says j greater than one j minus minus again it will you know compare it and now this time it will compare this two value with the five and it will compare if two is less than five or not and if it is less it will again swap it and now this time it will become 2 comma 5 comma 3 so this is how this will come with the step 1 is completed 2 comma 5 3 will be there so this is how the logic is for us okay
all right so let's uh, see uh, so we have created this logic so very simple logic which we have created and now in the end once this loop is finished okay so my step will will get finished so once this inner loop is finished my step will is finished and now i am step 2 so in the step 2 my i value bet increased and i value will become 1 okay so now what will happen that once the step will is completed so this is my series is so I don't have to look into this two now. I have to just, you know, uh, make sure this five and three are sorted. That is the reason my I value has increased from zero to one because I don't have to worry about two now because I know my two is sorted. And the same way we have put the logic before, the same way it will work. So it will, I will become two under this J. J would be ARR dot length minus one. So it would be like two. And uh, till the time my J is greater than I, so it will not worry about the first character now it will only have to sort the two last characters okay and the same logic if arj is not is j minus one you know it will pick this three it will compare with five if three is less than five it will swap three and five like this so same way i have you know it will go through all the numbers which are there in the series so basically we have created two uh, two loops one loop which is an outer loop which will be equal to the numbers which I have in my series and the another loop which will be the inner loop but this loop will have a J value will start from the end and we have to make sure that at the end of this loop this two should come to at the first place and that is the reason we always compare this two or we compare this number with the previous number and we see that which number is lesser whatever number is lesser we just swap it and this is how this inner loop will get finished and by the end of that the number will bubble up and it will come here at the end okay so let's let's try to print this uh, number or let's try to print the series now so that we can know if everything is working fine or not so what i will do i can uh, let's try to directly print uh, this uh, number else we will you know system dot out dot println Okay, and here I will directly give ARR. Okay, so let me just print that. Okay, so by default, if you print the ARR, it will give me the reference number of the array. It is not in printing the array. So there's another way also. We can write an enhanced for loop through which uh, we can uh, print the value of uh, array. So I will do for int. Uh, I can give v into v and uh, then we can write uh, our array here okay and every time we can print system dot out dot print ln and i can write v here okay so this is an enhanced for loop so i am taking a value of each array uh, so each uh, value of this array will come to v in the for loop and I am printing that uh, V here. So this is called the enhanced for loop in Java. So let's try to print this. Okay, so you will see that 235 my array is sorted out. Let's put some more number here instead of 2. After 2, I can write 4, then 9, then 1, like this. Let's see. Let's try to do a run. So if you run it, it gives me one, two, three, four, five, nine. So the array is sorted now. So this is the bubble sort. You just have to remember two things as I said before. First of all, your outer loop should be equivalent to the number of series which is given here. So I have given i equal to zero, i less than array dot length minus one, and your inner loop should start from the last. And you have to make sure this one gets swapped till the end point of this left hand side so for that you need to have this kind of uh, you know uh, logic which compare this last value with the last value minus one and if it is lesser it should swap it and you have to make sure also that your j value your inner value should start from array dot length minus one start from here like you know uh, it should be uh, like uh, if the value of array is five it should always go till four and it always you know comparing see when I say J is greater than I so that's mean when I am comparing I don't have to worry about the last bubble which is sorted out that is the reason I have written J greater than I I would have write zero also here okay 
but that would have unnecessary compare the things which are already sorted out that is the reason i have put it i here because after every loop the first very the first uh, thing would already be sorted out so i just don't want that this the sorted out values to compare again so that is the reason i have written j greater than i instead of j greater than zero here okay so that is about the bubble sort in the java thank you for watching have a great day